Hello there guys, and today I've got another Black Ops 2 wishlist. One say another, but this is my first one of many that will come on my channel. And so what I'm going to do is go through three points that I've said, you know, that I've won to see in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Hopefully if they put it in, maybe not, but it's just my sort of wishlist sort of thing. So yeah, and also you guys can leave some comments down below what you want to see in the video. And if I, you know, sort of agree with you, I'll include them in the next video. So yeah, we're going to start with number one, which is leaderboards. And... You know how people go for world records on like solo, so say like, you know, Sending got to 116, I think it was on Kill the Totem, and Yoke Slayer got to like 151, or something around there, on Ascension. And so for people that go for, you know, solo world records, there should be a leader for, leaderboard for that, if they're connected to Xbox Live, so, you know, other people can see, oh, they got to this such a round on that map, I, I might beat it on solo, because I've got to admit, some people do do better on solo than they do online. Because I've been to revive people and you know sort of stuff like that. So there should be improved leaderboards by that. And also the thing about the leaderboards now is they're all hacked. Every map is hacked. You know, highest round 99. And it gets annoying because when you want to see the highest world record for a certain map and you're out to beat it, you can't because the highest map now round is 99. And so you know it is disappointing that hackers have to ruin it like that. So. You know, maybe if hackers can hack it, but maybe offline, so the leaderboards don't work for them. You know, some way to counter it so it doesn't ruin the game for us as well. So, maybe leaderboards for that, you know, solo, keep the hackers out. And, you know, maybe more in-depth leaderboards, like, the only thing you've got for leaderboards right now is rounds and score. Maybe have, like, the most kills, you know, the most assists, the most headshots. Maybe not go into that much detail, but, you know, more in more in detail leaderboards. That's just my idea, even it. I don't know if you guys are finally the boards that we got now. So anyway, my second point I've written down is more game modes. So, I know they're releasing a new game mode called... I don't know what it's called, actually. I know it's a 4v4 game mode. So, what I what I reckon they'll do with that anyway is... So, like, you've got your four team. Yeah, you've got their four team. Maybe you've got the map split in half, or you've got the same map. I don't know, but... Say, like, you have the same map. The other, the other team are, like, ghosts, so you can't actually see them. You can't interact with them or anything. If they open a door, you can't go through it. But you can still see them. So, you know. And then go against each other to get to like a certain round. So, you know, there's different things. So you could either have 4v4. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to do first round 25? First to this? First to this many points? You know, first to this many kills? And obviously that's where the leaderboards will kick in as well. For like kills and score. And, you know, they'll give more of, a, uh, more of an objective. And more... No more fun because you know allowing more players to play and hopefully does hopefully they will just allow eight players just to play normal zombies by themselves but also new game modes so maybe like um a timed wave like a wave sort of thing so you got six set you got six minutes to survive this wave then you get a break for a minute and you get to go buy guns and stuff like that after war you know just more game modes that'll make it more interesting obviously not over flood it because you know the original zombies is good enough so maybe just things that'll add it in. And also, the second idea is for zombies, maybe have it so you can pack a punch more than once. So say like when I pack a punch a gun like a ray gun, you know, it runs out of ammo really quick and I need to go buy another gun to swap it out. So maybe have it so say like I pack a punch the ray gun once, it improves it, you know, adds a different colour. And maybe you pack a punch it again, you can restore it back to the old ray gun so you can keep swapping back and forth. To the originals and to the pack a punch or maybe when you're going up to the pack a punch so you put the gun in let's have a look there's a list here what would you like to add and you have so many points so say like you have five pack a punch points oh and you can add like a red dot site or something like that for two points add a extra ammo for three points and so you get to use your points maybe like that you know just different things that make the pack a punch more useful and make it more fun to use because you know having five grand just to make it you know stronger and have more ammo you know, I wouldn't say it's really the best, but adding more stuff to it, making it more experimental, is very good. So yeah guys, there's my three points on what I think they should add in Black Ops 2 Zombies. You know, it's just my just my wish list, you know, there's not it's not like it's been confirmed. But I know the 4v4 game mode has been. So anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed and the new Black Ops 2 Zombies trailer comes out on the 16th, so when that comes out, I'm gonna do everything for that, you know, maybe a breakdown. I'm gonna do something for it, so watch out for that. And I'm going to be loading these over the past couple of days because I need to get a new headset for the Xbox and a new controller. I'm looking to get one of those scuff controllers. Depends how much it costs. You know, I don't want to pay too much for a controller. But so, you know, you just get these in your sub box from me from now on. 
for the past maybe five days. How many ideas I come up with. But if you want to come up with any in the comments down below, I'll happily take them and talk about them in the video. And so yeah guys, if you leave a like, if you could leave a like down below, that would be you know very useful and help me out. So yeah, and it shows me that you enjoyed the video. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed and goodbye.